There's two yo-yos out here. Yeah. Well, it's moving now, dude. Now it's moving, so maybe we can adjust the carburetor now. Now we're pulling it off. Oh, look, it goes up and down now. Jeez. So I'll come to the thing wouldn't go up and down before. I guess just get, a, get that. Oh, look at my tools. No, that that one's James's. Oh, okay, good. I'm so scratching my tools. It's probably just getting cheap ass over here. Why don't you pull the manifold out? You want me to take the O-ring off? Yeah, we'll take the manifold out. There you go. Sweet son of a bitch. Oh, see, see that, that O-ring is good. It's perfect. It's like new. I'm sure that never That's why I said gasoline keeps uh, the oil, or keeps... Keeps it fresh mm -hmm. and pliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is actually... You need to get a real bolt in there. Here's this. Here's what? The O-ring. That one looks really good, too. Look at that. See? see that. Just put that in without it. You don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this custom thing. Don't you show in. YouTube that. That, gas show YouTube that, that gasket didn't leak at all. Yeah. It ran. Dude, these, these are made in USA. Good, dude. These are American made? Yeah. This one doesn't say nothing on it. Look at that. What? Ooh, look at that. It's even got a name on it. Motor Factory. That's called Chrome Special. This you one bought says those the same me. thing. You bought those from me. Hey. You bought those from Only me. Only the best. You should put oil on these to make them tighten up better. Okay, now you gotta put those back on. The oh, good, so they the are good. good. Ones, the good ones. Where's the good ones at? Oh, They're the on ones. the carburetor. The ones you lost. You never gave them back to me. And here's your fancy piece over here. We're on the workbench over here now. Hey, everything I made on this bike worked great. We're on the Tatro workbench over here, exterior workbench. See, I only keep the best materials out here for working on. Okay, so there's before and after. That looks almost like the identical part. I don't see what the problem is. Good. Look at there's no fitment issues at all for the bore size. Uh, it's not a race bike. There you go, see? Perfect. <laughs> it matches up 100%. There you go. Look at that. It's like it's made for. So it's, that's, that's incorrect, though. See, so it goes this way. That way it seals. It you said I could run it the other way, but you would just... It would probably leak like it did before if you did that. So you get your own on my work. These bench. are the new ones. You gotta get on a workbench here. This is a workbench. I don't know. Surface. Scooby was peeing on this workbench. I, he was peeing on the floor right, right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's this go? Oh, it's got a, it's got an oil leak in it already. Look at that. It's gas. Oh, it's That's no actually leak. race fuel. Okay, so you gotta find an oil ring. These are uh, anything with S and S on it. Here you go. Right, you wanna make it run better? Here you go. These are 26 rods. These are lean. This is the one you should have in there. We'll experiment. That one looks used. I'll take the used one. It's used, but it's new price. <laughs> have you tried running the leaner main jet in it too? No, the 70 always made it ran ran good on the freeway. Have you tried the 68 in it? It's too small. Might even run better. I just wanted to run. Now, what's not popular is this one and this one because everyone's tried it. These two are the ones that work, see? <laughs> 70 and 68. And I have the 70. The see, 70's the good. The 72's are a little fat, and the 66's are definitely lean. Full <laughs> fur, yeah. And what the 26's, see what how many of those one? I got? <laughs> see how many of those I got? Notice how there's none of these, and then we got lots of these big ones, see? This gives you a good idea which sizes you should be using in the vehicle. So the 82? So you should take this out and put this one in there. Make it run better. Maybe. If it doesn't work, we'll try it. You need to use the big one because it's just a big slot. Is this number two? This could be a number three for you. I don't know. Then you got to find an O-ring. Where's your O-rings at? I had the bag, but the bag said S and S on it. It does say it has one blue one left in there. The number's on that one. Oh six five, or oh two six five. Two six nine. Two six five. Two nine five. Two six five. What's this one say? Two six five. No. No? That's 28. Oh, this is 28. Uh, that sounds like a better number to me. But we're keeping the 70. Try that. It has 72 motor. Yeah, screw that in there. You have a bigger motor. Oh, here's more O-rings. I need one of these out of the three oh, wow. or four. Whatever's in that package. Now, you think we should adjust the idle mixture maybe a little bit? Here's this one. The accelerator pump is off. Okay, now put that up to light and see if you can see through the light through the butterfly. Yeah, but you adjusted this when you when I know I want to. It was so bad. I want to oh, see. Oh, whoa! We don't need to make another custom. Uh, we lost the part. I want to see if this throttle is completely closed. 
Yeah, it went, Do you it see is. no light through there? No light. Oh. Zero light. How come the bike was running then? At high RPM. <laughs> <laughs> you suppose there's auxiliary air, air coming in from somewhere. This is how you save on fuel. Oh, by shutting the throttle <laughs> completely off. Okay, we're gonna that go ahead and turn this. We're gonna go ahead and turn the throttle back on over here. This fancy screw you got over here. It's did welded on. Did you make that yourself? No comment. No comment. Okay. Okay. Is that open yet? Can you see light through there now? Yeah. And a light. little bit of dirt. Oh, I see it. I a see lot it. of dirt. Okay. Good. We'll go with that. Oh, Maybe I'll give it another half a turn for the hell of it. It might be a little fast. We're okay. We know how to turn it. Half down. A turn out? Yeah. We're down. In. Open the throttle up. <clears throat> there we go. We want to make sure the throttle's open. Is the throttle open good now? Yeah. Okay, half nice. throttle. Perfect. Okay, it'll start now. It'll start. That's Here, a precision adjustment. Here, put this thing adjustment. on there, dude. Take this off. No, you should do the adjustment on the idle mixture while you're at put it. Put this new one on there. Where's your idle mixture screw at? Oh, drop it in there. Okay, you got to screw that down oh. a little bit. Oh, he's on the phone again. Hello? Go down to my small screwdriver. Okay. There it is, over yeah. there. I was using it as a paper yes, I'll turn it off when I get back. Okay. Maybe so like tighten the bike Tighten off. that down a little bit. No, don't get, don't bust it out the other side. No, the guy said, the SNS guy said, gorilla tight. You go until it bobs out three turns deeper. Is that how you do it? Okay, no. <laughs> Unscrew it a half a turn. Another half. And another half. That's three times, right? Yep. Okay, good. One and a quarter. Uh, that should be one and a half if you count. But you do, you want the modern name, modern math, right? Yeah. And it doesn't hurt to go to one and three quarter if you have to. But you can it's a good you start. can buy a new one and give him your old one for get a discount. Really? Yeah. Okay, so we take this one here. This is not the this is not the custom one I made. No, that's the factory. Factory. So, okay. Okay. Where's your old one? Your touch. Okay, where's your gasket at? Is that your new gasket? There, yeah, this is the new gasket. Okay, perfect. Put that on there. He doesn't look new. Look at that. Hey, you know what? He's a professional. How's the float level? Is it still rising? You could drop it on the floor three times. Oh, yeah. That it looks about got a gap in there. Look at it. goes up and down and everything. Perfect. Okay. Now, you notice how the float's twisted? You could take it and bend it straight if you wanted to, but we're not no, going to do that. We're not going to do that, though. Yeah, it just needs no. to seal it. Okay, we're just going to put that on there. Let's put it on that way. Put it on there like that. Okay. Bolt it down. Oh, bring that back up. Mm, now, what you do? do you see this problem right here? What? See how the float bowl is broken? It's not broken. See how somebody put a bolt that was too long right here? No. They broke the float bolt and bent it in. Now, is that a high spot? Not going to seal right no. now? Where's your straight edge? Three bond. Three bond. It's a gap in there or just sit flat? I mean, it's not sitting perfectly flat, but right. it's just broken. It's not broken. <clears throat> okay, let's go fix that. Good eye. Now, that, Good might, eye, that might have a leak there. Who put this in? Don't worry, those are only a, those are only $150 for those float bowls. Not the bolt, no, no one's gonna take it. Those are those are only 150 bucks, so. You got a file? Oh, I was looking for one. Where would you have a file in this building? Course, course, course. We need a real file. <clears throat> Don't trip on that with your pal. Oh! That hurt. Here's a real file. The red side goes up because it's a flat file. Oh, did you hear it wobbling? Well, that's because it was on the thing. Ah, see, look at that. That's pretty. Look at it, it's wobbling. Look, it's perfectly flat. That might be a fuel leak. There you go. Red side up. Take, don't hit the O-ring. I said red side up. Yeah, then you put it down. Red side up. But don't you understand? Red side up. Where you at? I was running oh, it. Right. Up. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get that O-ring out so you don't screw up any O-ring. Okay, put up here on top of here so you get something to hold it with. Not to file, you dummy. So that's why we have special areas here. You can go right in my wrist. I can burn. Okay, is it flat now? Got a high spot in there. How'd that happen? Yeah. So whenever you see that mark there, you probably have a bolt, broken float bolt. Flip that thing over. No, it's on the it's on the this guy right here. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It doesn't rock Maybe like a it tiny, did. tiny bit more. Well, now it's a gasket seating surface now. Okay. Unless you want to file it more. No, it's good enough for the that go. That's right. Did you lose your O-ring? You took it out. Oh, there. He found it. Don't play with that machine. Oh, that's dangerous. 
Especially if it turns on. Yeah, this Man, kills a people. Nice machine. That's right. They kill people. They that kill people. Nice Look at all those files work. down there. <clears throat> Where'd you get that ugly shirt from? Orange. Yeah. You know, that's all he had. Damn. What ugly. Well, here's our kickstand repair. We put one of these on there. That was another problem we fixed earlier off camera. You got a nice machine, Stephen. Let's see, we did a transmission belt drive adjustment, a kickstand repair. Now we're on the now we're on the carburetors. The, the sissy bar, the two things I made work great on that bike. The sissy bar has not fallen off. The exhaust oil pipe tank. fits. There All you go. All stainless, polished, oil, oil bag, tank. handmade, yeah, oil chrome. Hey, the sun's coming out again. It's gonna get hot again. Okay, no, what do you got here? Now, did you blow all the, uh, the chips off inside of there so there's nothing inside the carburetor? Did you do it right? I mean, it's aluminum. Uh, it's, well, it's only aluminum, it's not important. Okay, so now you gotta put that on there. The O ring's still in there, look at that. So well, when it's new, you have to put it through the hole. Oh, the correct hole. You're in the wrong hole. Hole number one, not number two. There you go. Brave. Okay, Ooh. look at that. Almost like you know what he was doing. So, is this the new bolt that did that or the old bolt that did that? That, uh, the, the, the top bolt, the torque was way shorter. The Allen that I had down bottom was really long. Yeah, oh, well, see what happened when you made it really long, it breaks the float it's bolt. It's probably all well, in sealing, it wouldn't be pulled against the manifold. So, you can put a long one on top, but not a one on the bottom. So, maybe. So, yeah, we'll switch it. Well, it's probably, you got that bracket in there. Maybe you should put a, like a lock wash in there, space it out in there a little bit. Oh, it needs to get spaced out a lot, apparently. Yeah, well, you went on eighth inch too deep already. That's why it broke the float bowl. Surprisingly, your O-rings are looking seem pretty good, dude. Yeah, they probably weren't leaking. Yeah. Everything else was. This here was definitely, <laughs> this definitely had some issues here. That's Swami well, special right there. to slot it out to make it fit the carburetor, that's probably the first sign it was the wrong one. Uh, that's what we call custom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're halfway back. Screws are tight? Yeah. Okay. So I can put the manifold back on the bike. Well, let's do that. So where's your bolt at? Hmm? You need to check your bolt length. Well, that's actually shorter, so now it's really going to be Really short. Because this is this is shorter than this guy. Oh, yeah. that means it's gonna be way long. Yeah, it's uh, that's, way, that's way long. Way smaller hole too. You know these aren't supposed to have lock washers in there either. So it's just aluminum? Yeah, I'm sure that would never hit the float ball again. But we can just switch it because this so one's this take, one should work. Take that out. Take that out. Put that in there. Put that up against Whoa, that. That's O-ring O-ring. It's all right. Put that up in there like that. And you go like this. Okay, oh, so if you tighten up a little bit tighter, it will tighten up. What? If you tighten it up hit. a little bit tighter, well, it'll push it out of the way. You don't need to worry about that. We, so maybe you want to call it quarter and shorter than this. Yeah. Or we switch it and run this guy down here. Oh, but this here. is the bottom bracket, right? We run this bolt down here and this one. Oh, this is your bottom bracket, right? Where's your, yeah. where's your bracket at? You got a bracket that goes on there. So if you put a bracket oh, on there, it's oh, gonna yeah, space yeah, it out. Yeah, space it out. See, that'd be just right. See, yeah, I'll, take, I'll fix your bracket. Well, wait a minute. That one, the, that one was on the bottom. How much was your bracket? Uh, I would say that bracket. Didn't we say those things were like eighth inch? Eighth or quarter. 